Hello, and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since the very beginning, I truly do appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. Today we're here for Stash Down 2023, but before we get into that, if you're looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me at my Facebook group page, or you can find me directly at my email address. All are Queen's Crafts by Bridget, and all are linked down in the description box below. Now, if you're following along with the openings between myself and Ray, and the one that I did for myself, I do have a few names from that, and from our last video. So, let me give you those names, and then I'll talk to you about what I did and didn't get done this last month. First, we have from the first day of the swap, we have Manic Mama, we have Kristen F., and we have Michelle Crochets in Kansas. Congratulations, ladies. And then from the winner video, we have Deidre Kelly, we have Sally Stevens, and we have Trish Pranger. Congratulations. From day number two, we have Sally Stevens, Sharon Shuttlecraft, Shuttlecliffe, I know I completely screwed that up, I'm very sorry, and Celestial Rogue. From day number three, we have Amy Betancourt, Karen JSP, and Trish Pranger again. Congratulations, everybody. These will be going into the cauldron as soon as I turn off the video. If you, by some chance, don't know what the cauldron is, every single video that I make on this channel, I pick three people from the comments. I write their name down. Their name goes into a cookie jar that I call a cauldron. At the end of the month or the first day of the very next month, I draw a winner from that cauldron to show my appreciation for the people that are truly active on my channel. Now, the people that get drawn are completely random. I pick three numbers for each video. The person that lands on that comment number gets chosen and written down. So it's not a favorites contest. It's not a, uh, you know, you, you participate every single time type of thing. It's literally a luck of the draw. And I appreciate you coming by and commenting and being an active member on the channel. I have sent this uh, this month's prize out, and because we're in the month of December, I slipped a little something extra into the box. I will also do so at the end of December for a Yule gift, Christmas gift, Winter Wonderland gift, however you want. I'm going to plan. I'm going to be slipping a little something extra into the box, and just for fun, this month we are going to do a completely secret box. I'm not showing you what's in the box this month. It is stuff full of goodies as it is every single month. I will show you at the end of the month when we choose the winner. I hope that's okay with you guys, but in the spirit of the holidays, I thought let's leave it a little festive and a little bit of a surprise. So I'm going to put these aside so I can put them away. You guys seen that I did complete a cat bed for the outside kittens that we have recently adopted. However, I have not finished their blanket and I don't want to count my yard, my yardage, my weight in that until the blanket is done. I have this much so far, but you know, for kittens, of course, that's big enough, but I want to use up all the yarn. This is where we're sitting now. I have a crafty date tonight with some of the ladies. This will probably get done while I'm chatting with them because it is very easy and mindless to do. Just double crochets back and forth. I can sit and chat and do that all night long. And sometimes that's what we do all night long. <laughs> chat and craft and it's a lot of fun. So since I have you here, I've gotten a little, a couple other things done. I figured I'll show you. And I got a Yule gift in the mail today from Miss Connie, and I thought that I would share that with you. Um, let's go with what we got from Miss Connie. You can tell I have big plans on this channel. I come on with a great idea of what I'm going to do. 
<laughs> we fly by the seat of our pants around here. <coughs> Excuse me. Miss <coughs> Excuse me. Miss Connie sent me a little note via Instagram saying that she was sending me something. So to look out for it, I happened to go to the post office today and found this waiting for me. I'll look at the card first. Ooh. It says Seasons Greetings and Beautiful Deer. See. Thank you, Miss Connie. And Candace. Thank you, ladies, very, very much. Oh, those are, oop, I dropped something. That's beautiful. Trying to figure out, sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out how to open this thing. <laughs> I knew there was a way in. So pretty. Let me turn it around. Well, no matter what way, things are upside down. Isn't that beautiful, all the flowers and the moons? Let me, and here's the other half. Just gorgeous. Let's see what's in here. I think it's like a, like a garden flag or a wall, yeah, a wall hanging. Yep. That's the material to hang it up. It is absolutely beautiful, ladies. Thank you very, very much. One more time. I will find, you know what? This would look very lovely out in my plant room. I think I will put it out there. I have a lovely sunroom that doesn't get near enough sun because of the way that the trees are planted around my house. But I have lots and lots of plants out there. In fact, my Christmas uh, cactuses are blooming now. And I have a few pineapple plants out there. Let's see, I dropped this here. She, and I think that that flag or that wall hanging will look very beautiful out with my beautiful uh, plants. I absolutely love flowers and plants. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me show you guys. Look at that. That is so lovely. Thank you so much, ladies. That is absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Will hang there beautiful until I uh, do I decide to wear it along with the beautiful crown that I got from Miss Sabrina and all my lovely stitch markers that I got from everybody else. So thank you very, very much. Now, I realize I didn't say a whole lot about the stash down because I didn't really have a whole lot to say. I did get more done in the month of November than I can talk about because you guys are seeing it now in December. So, basically, my December um, stash down that you will see in January will contain everything that I did this month and last month 
counted together. I hope that makes sense. Sorry for putting everything kind of bloop, 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 uh, my memory and I kind of squirrel. Sorry. <laughs> let me show you real quick before I let you go. My progress on the wedding dress. Some yarn I've recently spun. And I've been working on something else. I got my, I got my, uh, my girls, my pups, some new flea collars. Uh, they're made from natural products rather than chemicals. And these uh, flea collars came in a tin. I'm like, oh, I don't want to just throw this tin away. It's completely usable, right? So I figured I don't want it to look like a you know, dog collar tin. You know, with the stickers on it. So I ripped the stickers off, most of them, except for this bottom one here. And I'm going to cover that too. Um, this is a work in progress. It's not completed yet. But I started last night taking some paper that I recently bought for making myself some books. And I cut it out, put it on there, and then I cut out these butterfly stickers and put them on. And then I found that butterfly sticker and put it on. And I lift it up or open it up and we have one on the inside and I plan to put something down there on the bottom and what I'm going to use this for is holding the stitch markers or notions or whatever in my pocketbook because I tend to uh you know, drop my pocketbook and everything ends up all over the place. And I'm not very good at using my own bags, but I'll use this. <laughs> I have to use my own bags and I have to use the material for me and not for other people, you know. I should just get used to, good at using my own bags, shouldn't I? Now, I'm going to hold you in suspense for the wedding dress. I am quite pleased with the way that it's looking so far. I, uh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I recently finished a spin for a friend. Um, I was going to give her something else, but after I spun it, it no longer spoke to me in the same way that it spoke to me prior to spinning it. Prior to spinning it, it said, hello, I am 100% for her all the way. This is her jam. She's gonna love this. When I spun it, it's still beautiful and it, it, it's a lovely yarn. I, I love it very, very much the way that it turned out, but it no longer reflects the person in which I was going to give it. So the other night I have some bare fiber I decided to try and experiment with my wood stove. I took out some fiber, measured it out, put the dye on it, and then instead of putting it in my oven or putting it on the stove top or my uh, new electric burners, I took the pan and I put it out on my wood stove that heats my house. I let it sit there for a good three, four hours. Uh, checked it quite a few times and I completely dyed the fiber for this yarn using the heat of my wood stove. So no electricity, no, no extra. And the fiber came out absolutely perfect. It wasn't felty or stuck together at all as sometimes happens. If you get too high of a heat, fiber is a little bit more finicky I have learned than yarn is about the temperature and if it boils a little bit or anything like that it didn't that didn't happen on the wood stove so the spin was fabulous it was a very enjoyable spin although it took me total spin time 14 hours to spin this yarn and I, I, I say that to say when uh, people want to buy my yarn, I tell them it's hand spun, hand dyed, and it's $60 a ball. But if you break that down to the 14 hours that it took me to spin the yarn, and that's not counting the, the dyeing time, and that's not counting the washing time and, and setting the yarn afterwards, or all the drying time for either time, that's just me sitting at my wheel, treadling away, spinning away 
14 hours. So I just wanted to let you guys know that is exactly why the yarn is costly, not expensive, costly. And that does not even reflect anywhere near the amount of money that it should cost with that amount of time put into it. Now, um, I'm not complaining or anything like that. I'm not saying get mad at anyone, anything like that. I'm just explaining that when you want to buy hand spun yarn or hand dyed yarn, please take into account the amount of time and energy that each ball takes to make. And then count in your time and energy to make that ball into something else. Not saying it's not worth it. It is worth it 110%. You are worth the pretty yarn. You are worth the more costly yarn. You're worth it. So am I. Okay, enough of that. Now, on to the fun stuff. We have whoop, whoop, a top. It goes all the way around now. So we're going to lay it down like this here. Okay, we got the cups. And then for the bottom, I am doing a continuous shell stitch. And that is going to come down until about my waistline. And then I have plans for the bottom. I have already worked out how I'm going to do that. So I'm very excited to get there. Maybe once I get the baby or the, you know, the kitten's blanket done tonight, I'll be able to work on this. All right, guys. This is a very long stash down video. <laughs> I know, and you've already seen me today with the ad, you know, the Advent Swap. And if you haven't, please do go check it out. And remember, guys, we do have the 1500 subscriber giveaway going on. If you haven't commented on that video, I will link it down in the description box below. Please do comment on it. If you have commented on it, just share it out. Shout from the rooftops. Tell people, hey, until we hit that magic number, we can't draw the winner. So we want to hit that magic number. And we're only like 43 away. I know that we can get there. Let's do it before Christmas. And then we can celebrate, you know, for the holidays that we got there. And we'll have one less thing on our shoulders going into the new year. Anyways, I'm going to hop on out of here. Until next time, happy crafting and see you later. Bye for now.